Belton Alliance Project, which is one of our nonprofits here in town, that um, their goal is to improve Belton economically or uh, quality of life. Um, anything that is a positive for our community, they're willing to do. Um, they, it was started talk, being talked about about 10 years ago, and two years ago, it, it, it we really got our footing and took off with it. Um, Michael Gilreath and, and Kevin Kraft stepped up to the plate and, and really did a lot to get this project off the ground. It's about an $800,000 project that 75% of it is donations and grants. 25 from government monies, only 1% from the City of Belton's Hospitality Fund. So it, it is a true gift to this city and we are so excited to have it. it um, you know, it's, it's something that volunteers did that people that live in this community, that love this community, they did it, you know, for the city of Belton, and I'm beyond proud of it. Do you remember whose idea it was originally to put a trail? Um, I don't, it was just a group. Um, I know Bob Daniels was a part of that original group, Rex Maynard. Um, I came along about five years later, so I, I don't know who was in that group, and then we kind of took that group and made a rail trail committee, and the rail trail committee brought it to life but it, it's, it was being talked about for a long time how did it go from just being a rail trail to a bubblegum rail trail well we got to the point where we needed to name it and we formed a committee and a gentleman here in town bob tuggle um had shown some interest in in the name so i invited him to be on that committee and he brought a story to us he's a train enthusiast and he um, has a bunch of train books and he brought a story to us about a little girl who used to come stand and watch the train come by and the conductor would throw her a piece of bubble gum every day and so her friends started joining her at the trail and next thing you know it was called the bubble gum train and when we read the story we fell in love with it and said you know that's it no other name but the bubble gum rail trail but y'all are not going to be providing bubble gum out here. No, you, you you can chew and walk if you want to, but we will not be providing the gum. And how far does this trail go? It's 1.7 down and then you turn around and come back. So a little over three miles if you go all the way down and back. And it starts at the library. It starts at the library, ends at Lidapore Park, um, which you can start on either direction. You know, halfway down, we have two restaurants that have ice cream. Stop and get an ice cream walk that ice cream off on your way back to your car but then we have a little um, exercise park also and there's a few pieces of equi equipment on down the trail so it, it's a it's a nice little walk are there any plans to extend it um we're not going to extend the trail well yes when lita poor park is that project is completed we hope to do a perimeter around that and so it'll be an extension and then we're talking in the near future about having a dog park over here at the other other side of the road but here at the head of this trail will be a dog park that's something a lot of people have been asking for mm -hmm. they have is there any timeline on the dog park or just um i would think i'd hope to get it done by fall if everything works right it, it, it should be a fairly simple project to pull off and i guess the track is just it's open anytime anybody wants to walk and right there's lighting we keep the lighting zone um 20 it's lighting on all the time that you edit this one for me That's but fine. yes the, it's lighting all the way down and back there's a bridge at the end that you go under the bridge is lit there's a camera there for safety um so i, I, I it's a very safe trail to walk and a huge contributor to this project was the Tempkin um foundation they they gave us a hundred thousand dollar grant such a generous grant and and that was really our seed money to get us get us going so we can't thank them enough um for that and as you walk you'll cross a bridge and it, it is named the Tempkin Foundation Bridge so we, we thank them for their their support this probably wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for them and you've also taken away the excuse that people don't have anywhere to walk they right say. right right it's this um, even the deer walk this trail my husband drives to Greenway every morning and he called me one day on the way to work and said there's six deer using the trail so Open for everybody. Open for everybody. There is a private donor who has expressed interest in adding a gazebo here to the head of the trail, and that'll be a nice addition. So that should 
come to fruition, hopefully here in the next month or two also. So th this trail's gonna be a real attraction for Belton. And, and yes, a great attraction, and it's all done by donors. I mean, it's, 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 that's, that's what's the best thing, that the stakeholders of our community bought into this project and they're continuing to add to it, so they love it. We love it.